Hey, what's up guys? Hi. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been messaging me and asking me about, uh, hey, what do you think of the Hassan Piker, uh, I don't know, viral meme thing? What do you think about the Nate J. Robinson situation? So I wanted to address both of these for fun. Hope you like it. And please give me a break. So with the uh, Hassan Piker thing, a lot of people are calling it corporate communism. And they're saying, hey, Arun Brown, why doesn't he just he go in the middle of the woods? I mean, the first thing I think it's surprising to people that uh, us us content creators, we're all extravagantly wealthy and I'm no exception to that. So I guess the question is, how can a guy who claims to be a socialist buy a three million dollar house in West Hollywood, I guess is the question. And it's a pretty easy answer here is that Hassan Piker is a worker, uh, put labor into a thing called Twitch. They took a cut of that, a pretty large cut of that money, and he was still left with millions of dollars, which he used to buy a home. Income that you earn and your position in a class structure are two different things. Two. So I don't have too much of a problem with a guy who works a lot, who puts in a lot of work, who's technically not a quote unquote capitalist making millions of dollars and buying a Hollywood home where he where I assume he and E and Turtle and Jeremy Piven and the other one who's related to the other guy. And they look, he looks like a melted version of that, are all gonna live together and grab each other's tuchuses. I think if you really wanted to make a criticism, it wouldn't be on him, but it would be on the idea that people have of a, a meritocracy. It all comes back to this sort of phony idea of meritocracy that uh, the person who gets the most rewards is simply the person who put in the most work. The problem is there are lots and lots of people who work very hard on Twitch, who are very funny, who are very intelligent, who do a lot of research, who will never make it to that level, okay? That's just a fact. That is a fact of life. And this is not a, a slight on him. I like him. I think he's a smart guy. He does good entertainment and blah, 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 and all of this, all this crap, okay? Booga laka, booga blah, 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 blah. And all of that. But it really helps to have a boost, Really helps to have a boost. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is, do, were people thinking that Hassan Piker was like Fidel Castro or Che Guevara or something? He was going to, that he should just take all that money and spend it on weapons uh, for some kind of a revolutionary action? Or th I guess that's the, that's the only thing I could think of. Otherwise, he's, he's an entertainer. He's a worker on, on the social media thing who, had had a lot of advantages and boosts, and he made a lot of money. So, I think uh, he it, that, that's about it. That's about it. And uh, so there's this new site called Breitbart, which I get to, like who re I guess it's old people who read this or people who can't tell the difference between news and ads, uh, which is a large you know it's a large uh, portion of people. Socialist who said USA does quote deserved 9/11. <laughs> Deserve 9-11, buys $2.7 uh, million West Hollywood home. This is funny because uh, the Deserve 9-11 thing, these are the people who are like, we can't, we're not allowed to say anything. We're always censored. He was being a bit of an edge, an edgy guy. He's being an edge lord, And so, of course, these, uh, these people who are all about like, we can't say it. Comedians like Adam Carolla, comedians can't even say anything. We're not even allowed to stand up. We can't call it stand-up comedy because we're not allowed to stand. We have to sit in the dark. You know, all these guys are like, you're not allowed to say anything. But the minute they like somebody that they don't like says something edgy or like crazy or something, um, he's a, he said a thing. I don't even remember this. I, so apparently it was in relation to this guy, Dan Crenshaw, who's a, you know, right wing lunatic, right, right wing goose stepper. Piker isn't the first Internet socialist to make multi-million, uh, make a multi-million investment in real estate earlier this year. Does anybody know who this person is? Because this is I'm I'm too much of an old person. 
I'm too much of a uh, decrepit person who doesn't party enough to know who this is. Nicole Sanchez, known as Nico Lu, Nico Lo to her fans, was the subject of major backlash after the OK Boomer. Oh, this is the OK Boomer girl. This is the OK Boomer girl. What? Party. Party. So, yeah, it's sort of like this is a thing with right wing media now. I see this a lot with like Tim Pool and all this stuff is that basically you you lead your audience to a conclusion without actually saying it so that you don't you don't you never have to explain. But basically it's he's this guy's like from Turkey. So already they're like, uh oh, but it's uh, he's a socialist who has called for billionaires to be banned, but he also bought a very expensive home. So they're like, look, they're leading people to the conclusion, which you can see in the uh, in the chat here on this uh, stupid website, which is, it's always amazing reading about those who hate America the most flaunting their success because of America. They are frauds. Yep, in the old days, they were called, quote, snake oil salesmen, unquote. I mean, you know, it is a stupid, stupid... Oh, look at this. Look at this gun hole. Damn, look at that. Look at that gun. Oh, look at that holster. Look at that phone holster. That is, that just summarizes it right. I'm going to look like a real badass with my holster. Oh, what do you got a gun in? It's my phone. <laughs> I got to go on the, to do my tweets on there. <laughs> so the other thing involves this guy, Nate J Nathan J. Robinson. Nathan J. Rubinson. Nathan J. Robinson. This thing is a little bit more complicated, but I have to say, first of all, there's a guy on Twitter who... I laugh at this every time. There's a guy on Twitter who pretends to be Nathan J. Robinson, like he set up his Twitter account to look exactly like Nathan J. Robinson, but all he says is like gangster, like the most gangster sh I guess I have a little bit of a soft spot for Nathan J. Rubinston because he gets, he seems to get bullied on Twitter and online a lot by the wet, saggy, soiled, Dipe, that is, uh, you know, Twitter and all this crap. So, uh, if you don't know about this, the story here is that there's this magazine called Current Affairs. It's a website and an actual physical magazine. And this guy, Nathan J. Robinson, started it. Uh, he also wrote a book called How to Be a Socialist. And he's kind of, he kind of dresses, he, he, he's got a wild, he's got a wild style. Which, good for him. You know, if you don't like it, then... Do that, okay? Or you can, another thing you could do is- You go in the middle of the woods. <laughs> so the people who worked with him at this Current Affairs magazine wanted to start a Rick Wolf style workers co-op like this guy. It is disgusting, weird. They wanted to start a democratically run worker co-op. They, they wanted to turn it into that. But then according to them, Nathan J. Robinson, at, so the story goes, because of this, he fired all them. He definitely fired all them. And he's kind of like got his own side of the story and so on, etc. But uh, this is kind of the, the story is that they wanted to start a worker co-op and then he fired all of them because of it. So I don't know. There's two things about this. The first one is a very easily thrown in the toilet. Uh, bullshit. Disgusting. Piece of... Which is there are a lot of like morons on Twitter who you'll see them if you look at arguments about this where they're like, see, this does, kind of thing doesn't work. It doesn't work, a democratically a, 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 a thing. No one would want to do it. Um, there's a little bit of a problem with this, and this is my favorite one because this is an easy one, is that there are hundreds of worker co-ops just in the United States. Even in the don't touch my gun world of the United States. There's hundreds of worker co-ops from the communist Marxist magazine Fortune. Cooperatives can make economies more resilient to crisis, crises, <laughs> crises like COVID-19. So there are a lot more worker cooperatives around the world. Here's a statistic that uh, I did not know. Cooperatives employ almost 10% of the world's population. So there's a, yeah, there's a bunch of articles about this. Thousands of people working at co-ops, something like half a billion dollars in uh, revenue, da, 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 whatever. Um, so if the, 
So anybody who's like, this is proof that you, it's just like, no, it's not. All it is is really it's like the personal failings of a guy, of one guy that everybody's kind of a making fun of online. So I guess the other side of this corporate communism, as I call it, is, uh, yeah, it is bad to fire a bunch of people, to fire a bunch of people when they're trying to do a thing that you have advocated for. But uh, I see another problemo. I see another bit of uh, here, which is part, you know, we got to say at least part of this lack of morality and virtue from this guy, Nate J. Rebenstein. Reba Reba McIntyre's sin, is that he, he wasn't really committed to the cause. He, t he talked a game about socialism, but he wasn't really committed to the cause, and he fired a bunch of people. He wasn't true to his values, okay? But that also means that now I think these people who he fired have, you know, they got the spotlight on him now. They got the spotlight on him now. And if you're saying, well, he's not pure, more than anything, because he wasn't committed to a cause that he claimed to be uh, uh, pushing for. I feel like in that case, then you are... You are morally obligated to beat a kid in Walmart. Beat a kid in Walmart. Then I would say with all this attention, which is the hardest part of doing some stupid media crap, doing some uh, dumb media, <laughs> he's getting attention. Now, you know, these people have uh, more attention. You know, they uh, got a lightning rod on them gonna be kind of disappointing if you guys don't put together a worker co-op a worker co a worker cooperatively a run like this guy talks about disgusting it will be disgusting if you guys don't again if you guys do a similar what i call a similar lack of virtue in a robinston's case of not putting together some kind of cooperatively democratically run media organization to prove, like a lot of companies as we've established in the U.S. are proving, that it is possible. What's important is what are you guys going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You're going to tweet about it or you're going to be about it? Like Mark Twain said, Nathan J. Robinson probably knows about this, similar dressing style to Twain, Mark, comma, Mark, Mark Twain's famous quote, you're going to be it, tweet about it or you're going to be about it. It's like Shania Twain says also. I'm not fully impressed by that. So that's all I got to say about these two pieces of shit. Hassan Piker. I'm just kidding. I like I like both of these guys work. That's what I got to say about him. OK. If there's a problem, that's on you, man. That's on you, bro. OK. Have I have I lost control of my mind who's to say and thank you for watching the arun brown program and of course you're welcome hey everybody and thanks so much for watching this video like all the other youtube and podcast perverts i now have a patreon every week on this patreon i'm uploading two exclusive patreon exclusive shows they're like real shows more produced more edited a behind the scenes show where i reveal all my secrets and a show where we go deep on an important topic that you will want to know about. Also, you get the daily and complete live show audio-only feeds. And at the top level, for only 25 bones, you can become a producer. These people that you're seeing right here make this program possible. Without them, nothing. It goes right in the toilet, right, 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 right,